Question 16. What is index awareness? Answer. Index awareness in a universe determines which values in a filter conditions of the queries built from the universe are replaced by their corresponding indexes or surrogate keys. Values in filter come from dimensions table and you need a join with the fact table to get this value. Question 17. What is the use of query panel? Answer. You can use query panel to create or preview queries on a business layer or on the top of universe published in repository. Query panel allows you to add objects in the query and to preview the query results. Question 18. What is a derived table and why do you use it? Answer. A derived table is a virtual table in the data foundation that combines other tables using calculations and functions. You can use derived tables for below purpose to create a table with columns from other tables. The column definitions can include complex calculations and functions to create a single table that combines two or more tables. To create a table that contains a selection of columns from different tables. To insert derived table, select table header right click insert derived table. Question 19. How you can access a derived table from other derived table? Answer. By using derived table function at derived underscore table derived table name. Question 20. What is an alias table and why do we use it in universe? Answer. An alias table is known as reference to a standard table in data foundation. The data in alias table is completely same as the original table. Alias tables are used to break loops in join path in data foundation layer. An alias table can also be used to rename a table. Question 21. What are the different states in context? Answer. In a context, there are three states defined for a join. Included joins in a part of the schema that is ambiguous. The context solves the loop by defining a path with the included joins. Excluded joins in a part of the schema that is ambiguous. The excluded joins define the path that context will never take. Neutral joins are in a part of the schema that is not ambiguous and are always included in the query path of the context. Any join that is not explicitly included or excluded is neutral. A context can be defined manually or by clicking detect context option. Question 22. When you use an OLAP connection to build a business layer, what happens to objects? Answer. Objects in the business layer are inserted automatically based on the cube. You can add below functions to enhance features in business layer, using analytical dimensions, hierarchies, and attributes, named sets, calculated members, insert measures, predefined filters, mandatory or optional to limit data returned in queries, parameters with optional prompts, lists of values to be associated with a prompt. Question 23. What is difference between loves and prompt in a query panel filter? Answer. Loves allows you to select multiple values from list of available values. Prompt allows you to select a value at runtime. Question 24. What are the different access levels of an object? Where do you define access level? Answer. You can define various access levels of an object. Private, public, controlled, restricted, confidential. When you define an object as public, all users can access the object. If an object is defined as restricted, users that are granted access level of restricted or higher can access. To define access level of objects, select the object in business layer for which you want to define the access level. You can use CTRL key to select multiple objects. Right click on object change access level. Question 25. What do you understand by resource dependency in universe? Answer. In a universe there can be many objects which are dependent on each other and moving deleting a resource can impact other resources that depend on that resource. To check the dependency between different resources, you can select show local dependency. Question 26. What is repository dependency on an object in a local project? Answer. To see dependent resources in repository for a particular resource under local project, right click and click on show repository dependency. Enter the session details where resources are published and click on login. It will show you list of published universes in repository that are based on selected resource under local project. Question 27. What is the use of SAP BO dashboard? Answer. Dashboards Designer is SAP Business Objects Data Visualization tool that is used to create interactive dashboards from different data sources. Dashboard Designer allows BI developers to create custom dashboards and analysis that meet the business requirement in an organization. 
Dashboards can include different graphs, charts and gauge that are based on the data provided by data sources. Dashboards are used by senior management that offers up-to-date information to information to company CEOs and VPs. Question 28. What are the different dashboard versions you have worked on? Answer. Box i 3.1 compatible dashboard is called Excelsius 2008. Box i 4.0 compatible dashboard is called Dashboard 4.0. Box i 4.1 compatible dashboard is called Dashboard 4.1. Question 29. Have you heard about Design Studio? How it is different from Dashboard Designer? Answer. Chart Types. There are 22 charts of 16 types, 34 charts of 12 types. Selectors. 18 selectors of 16 types, 10 selectors of 10 types. Containers. 7 containers of 3 types, 5 container of 5 types. Maps. For 100 countries, no maps. Calendar. Calendar is available as table. Calendar is available as input field. Filter panel, no filter panel drilling and filtering capabilities. What if component? Six components, no components. Visualization engine, Adobe Flash with HTML5 support native HTML with CSS. Design and color schemes, multiple themes. Customize using GUI basic themes, customized using CSS. Question 30. What are the options under component browser? Answer. Category. List. Tree. 